You were the first senator to, to object yeah. to, the, to the votes. Mm -hmm. In 2024, will you certify the election results? Do you plan to object, or will you accept the results regardless of who wins the election? So, so Caitlin, i got to say, I, th I think that's actually a, a ridiculous question. It's a yes or no question, I, though. No, no, it's not. Let, let me explain why it's a ridiculous question. It's not a question. Have you ever asked a Democrat that? Of course. What Democrats? But, but what Democrats? But, but, but hold on a second. What Democrats challenge it? What Democrats? Hillary, I know, I know. I, I've been down this road many, many times. But, but, but. That CNN pundit and woman with a jawline bodybuilders would kill for, Caitlin Collins asking Ted Cruz the only question liberals are permitted to ask conservatives now. Will you accept the results of the election? Welcome to NERC News. I'm Nurkish. And apparently we're stuck in Groundhog's Day because it's time for another video of a smug leftist journo getting destroyed after asking a Republican one of Liberal's favorite gotcha questions. Fortunately for us, Ted Cruz has more than two brain cells to rub together and can easily dismantle this pathetic straw man. No Democrat. You cannot compare the two situations. We have talked about that. We've seen the audio of that when they protested hey, but, but, on the but, but Senate hold on a second. Floor. But, it, but have they ever, has you ever had a sitting president who refused to facilitate the peaceful transition of power, refuse to acknowledge that his successor won the presidency? Uh, so, A, we did have a peaceful transfer of power. I was there on January 20th. I was there on the swearing Barely. Event. B, if you look at in, in 2000, Democrats went to the Senate, or 2001, Democrats went to the Senate floor and objected to George W. Bush. In 2004, the they do? went and objected. And what did the president in, in, do? In 2016, Democrats went and objected to Donald Trump. And, and so... Look, and what happened in 2016? Because I remember a guy named Joe Biden was vice president, and, and he went to the Senate floor and certified the votes. So do you Am want... Am I wrong? Be, so you're asking, will you promise, no matter what, to agree an election is illegitimate regardless of what happened. That's an excellent point there that Ted Cruz just made. Kristen Welker and Dana Bash are huge on doing this during interviews. I might even make a montage of it in the future. They'll ask a conservative loaded questions like if they'll accept the results of the election unconditionally. Then when the guest points out that Democrats don't do that and how absurd the question is, the host will redirect the accusations and then circle back and ask the question again for a quick sound bite before abruptly ending the interview. And that would be an absurd thing to claim. Like, we have an entire election law system that people challenge elections, elections get overturned, voter fraud gets proven. That happens all the time. And the media engages in this weird game post Donald Trump that you insist no voter fraud has ever existed. Why does every state have laws in place to challenge voter fraud if it occurs? The media Why do you have election challenges? This isn't a game. I tried to look through history and precedent, and the best precedent I could find was the election of 1876. Elect 1876 was between Rutherford B. Hayes and Samuel Tilden. And what happened there, there were serious allegations of voter fraud, and, and Congress didn't throw its hands up and say, you know what? CNN demanded that I accept the results no matter what, so ignore the it's fraud. Not, I got to go. Not, so, 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 but hold on. What did Congress do in 1876? How did the president handle it? What did Congress do in 1876? Senator, I have what, to know, what, you can't I, I'm answer asking yes a question. or no to this question. I'm asking a question. What did Congress do in 1876? You can't answer yes or no to this question. I, and can, Republicans... can you answer my question? Why are you refusing well, to answer my question? I'm conducting the interview with okay, all due but, respect. But, but, but... You know, they're saying that journalism is dying, and I, for one, can't wait till the day it catches up with political hacks like this. I mean, the only thing establishment media has at this point is Trump fear-mongering, which might have served them well when Trump took office, but it's becoming pretty pathetic to watch. You know, it's no wonder why CNN primetime ratings just hit a three decade low. I mean, talking heads like Caitlin Collins are in for a rude awakening when they discover that no one actually likes them. Just ask Don Lemon, who has less views than most small YouTube channels. But let me know what you think. Is asking Republicans if they'll accept election results under any circumstances a winning strategy for the left? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been NERC News. Thanks for watching. Bye!